Hello friends, welcome to another Movie Chest, Movie Chest number 6. Some interesting picks this week to say the least. Um, my life has never been more jellical. I mean, if you don't know what that means, we should probably just get right into this. Hope you appreciate some of the thoughts on these movies that we had. Um, and also, I hope you appreciate the fact that we actually watched them. Enjoy the movie chest. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the movie chest. This week we have three movies that we're going to talk about. And they're Cats, mm. The Host, and Thank You for Smoking. Yeah. <laughs> one of and those three movies is really good. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Should we talk about that one first and save like the worst for last this time? Yeah, let's. I think we should go on that downward spiral. Yeah, sp- I think and start with the best. I start think, with the best. Yeah. yeah, that's a good idea. So I think, I think we're all thinking of the same one, right? Yeah, cats, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for smoking. Yeah, Jason Reitman. Yeah. Reitman, however you say his last Re- name. Reitman. 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 I think so. Son of the ghost. Buster's guy, right? Ivan Reitman. Yeah. <gasps> oh, but, that's uh, where his name was. That's why yeah. his name was familiar Did in that Juno, trailer. Juno, Up in the Air, also great movies. This yeah. is my pick this week. Mm-hmm. Uh, thank you for smoking. I don't know if I mentioned that, but uh, I thought that it was uh, it was great. I, like I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I thought it was quick. It was fun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It was, it was good. And the, the message, you know, it's in a roundabout way, it's like, you know, own, what you, own who you are. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, be who you are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't change for fucking anybody. Right. You know? And it's great. That last scene where he's like, they're asking him, when your son turns 18, what are you, you going to let him smoke? And he's yeah. like, I'll buy him his first pack if he wants like, me to. It's like, yeah. hell yeah, man. Way <laughs> to stick with it. Brother. And you can tell he truly believes it, too. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. like, honestly. Yeah, yeah that's lie. how it should be. I mm-hmm. mean, oh, God. It yeah. was exactly. so good. I really enjoyed it. Me too. I think, uh, I'm glad you guys liked it. Yeah. yeah. It reminded me of Wolf of Wall Street for a little. little. Yeah. Like with the freeze frame and the narration Dude. again. Narration, <laughs> man. <laughs> Just keeps popping uh, up. But yeah, I thought he was like so... What's his name? Aaron? Aaron Eckhart. Like, yep. He's so charismatic. Yeah, and like yeah. I've only seen him in like supporting roles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm, I was surprise this is 100 percent his best role oh, yeah. absolutely you know, can't deny that yeah this think. got him two face though and then the mm-hmm. trilogy so that was that was good i mean i like yeah. i like seeing him i mean he has those fun movies too with gerard butler the white house Olympus uh, has fallen, oh, yeah. and then <laughs> battle los angeles those are just fun movies yeah. yeah but this one i think he he was top notch yeah like, this oh, is definitely yeah. his peak of right. like this is his best performance nice. it was like yes. mid for him i mean like you said he was charismatic and like with those other roles, you don't really see that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But with this one, he really shines. Well. Right. He's got such a commanding presence in this movie. Yeah. Like yeah. Every scene, you just can't take your eyes off of him because he's so good at talking and right. so mm-hmm. good at like getting his points across. Right. Like yeah. you just want to listen. Like you to believe him. him. Yeah. Right. No yeah. matter how ridiculous you're, what he says, I'm like, yes. Side all the way through. You exactly. Know? He'll lead you there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm glad you guys like that. I've seen this movie like 20 times. Yeah. So this is when, yeah, I watched it like probably like 10 years ago and. This is one of those movies that just perfectly aligns with like my humor mm-hmm. and my outlook on life kind of right. type of movie. Right. And it just like hits all the notes that it needs to hit. Like, and I, honestly, I, I wonder, since you guys enjoyed it so much too, this movie just feels so good to watch. Like mm-hmm. the pacing of it. Oh, yeah. The, I think it is part of it, like the commanding presence that he's like literally is like leading you on the journey right. through the whole movie. And yeah, just like all the dialogue, all the pacing of it, it just feels so good. To, mm-hmm. Even though you're watching terrible shit, like, right. you know, like it, these these guys, the 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 meeting of the three people, you know, mm-hmm. and it's like the mod squad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're they're all fucking scumbags, but it's like I love these guys. <laughs> right. You know? That was I wrote that as like really smart that that those were introduced because mm-hmm. like you get they're personifying guns and alcohol and cigarettes mm-hmm. right? and they're making it into like three best buddies that right. are just having great conversations <laughs> right. together right. you know just <laughs> holding hands together like la di da da talking about their their uh their body counts mm-hmm. and everything and it's just like uh, that, that was that was really good and i think the first scene where aaron eckhart is talking to cancer boy and the, <laughs> yeah. the ladies and it's just that, that was a good set of you know this is going to be the tone right yeah. mm-hmm. you're in for something oh here. yeah right like do, do you laugh at Cancer Boy, you know? Yeah. Do you feel bad? Like, what are you supposed to feel here? Because even he was like, yeah, you yeah. have a point. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> By the um, end of it, he, like, shakes his hand. Yeah. Right? Right. Like, he's on his side. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, it was really good. I mean, I, I've seen a lot of 
Raymond's right. I can't. Raymond. Yeah, I don't want to fuck up his name that much, so I won't say it. <laughs> I that think much. it's Raymond. Yeah, I like like Juno. I thought yeah. that was yeah. fantastic. I watched it for the first time this year, and mm-hmm. I loved it. Up in the Top air, tier. I also loved it. Yes, yeah, that's the one really with George neat. Clooney, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, Formiga. Her. He's gonna do the new Ghostbusters too, yeah. which yes. gives me a little bit of hope because it was his like dad's thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's so. kind of passing Aww. the torch a little bit. Right. So that's so and cute. He's. Like to me, he just is like displayed himself as a very competent director. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. he just he understands the content he's got and right. what he's getting to like get out of it. Right. And I like just smart, easy, simple directing. Like I noticed a lot. Of, I mean, it's just kind of classic directing where uh, Nick Naylor is like always shot from like below, mm-hmm. just to give you that commanding presence even a right. little more. Right. But and then sometimes it levels out when he's on like the same field, like when he's talking to uh, the Marlboro Man yeah. guy. Mm-hmm. They're like both level eyes on it, but. It's just like easy stuff to latch on to and understand like what the story is and what the characters are going yeah. to do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like what I like the most is that his character like never looked down on anyone or like was yeah. condescending. Yeah. Like right. I think out of everyone, he was the only one who treated his son like an adult. Like a normal sure. person. Yeah. And I right. was like, damn. Like That's... no wonder everyone's like in his side. Yeah. And it's hard him. to not like him because he, he, like you said, he gives like so much respect mm-hmm. in every conversation he's yeah. in. Even... uh like when he's talking to um, Robert Duvall, mm-hmm. that's one of my just, it's like Aaron Eckhart here, but like one of my favorite moments is like when he's saying he, how he got the the trick for uh, the Moscow Mule or whatever. Mm-hmm. And it's like the, the mint julep, it's Fidel Castro. <laughs> and you see him just like give the look of like recognition of like how fucked up that is. Yeah, right. He's like going to take it and drink it. And like, <laughs> but yeah, it's all in, it's all in Nick Naylor and mm-hmm. it's like right. hinged on his personality, right. which yeah. you really enjoy. And typically I don't like the, <clears throat> I don't, it feels awkward with this type of movie when they try to shoehorn in the like the father son. It didn't feel like the typical one because it wasn't like it was this bumpy road. You know, it was just he just his son looked up to him, and yeah. this whole time he's taking him on his journey with him. Yeah. Like this is what I do, son. You know, mm-hmm. I want to be my my one hundred percent self with True you. Self, right. yeah. You know, and like then you have the dynamic with his mom who is like saying, "No, don't take him to California. You know, right. it's gonna fuck him up." Mm-hmm. And his dad's like. It'll be fun, you know? It'll be a good bonding experience. And then initially, obviously, the son's like, yeah, mom, come on. It's not going to fuck me up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I, th- I thought that was a really cool touch, that whole father-son dynamic. Right. It wasn't like the typical. At it least felt, it didn't feel like it It felt right. And to me, I think it felt really good, too, because it's like we're the audience with, with his son. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's explaining his worldview to us as the as, to the kid, right. to us. And, like, we're getting the bits that we... And we're... Like, we're understanding with the kid why he does... It. It's just, like, that's... Yeah, it felt really justified, almost. Right. Kinda. And, and it's almost like... Like, you know Nick Naylor. He's obviously not liked because of what he supports right. or, you know, yeah. sells. But you didn't have to... They didn't really beat you over the head with the fact that, you know, he obviously probably cheated on his wife. He was a womanizer and stuff like mm-hmm. that. They didn't beat you over the head to be like, he's also a scumbag in this sense, you know? Right. It was just kind of kind of in there, and you kind of knew, but you're, yeah. you're kind of okay with it because... I mean, yeah. the guy was so like he's so honest about it. Yeah, right? you know? he like he talks the talk and walks the walk. Exactly, like, yeah. you there's know. no bullshit. Yeah. Which exactly. is great for mm-hmm. that kind kind of character. Yeah, because you have to be unless you or you know if, if he wasn't if you're doing that job. Yeah, yeah. right, yeah. right, exactly. And that's what he says to his son is like, not everyone can do this job. You have to have the moral flexibility that I have. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. So. yeah. And I think you know when he's going to to the Marble Man, and he's got the suitcase with money. I think he kind of tussles with himself of like should i be doing this yeah you know and like it's kind of where you see a little bit of his like remorse right. side mm-hmm. of it like so he's, he is human under under it all right. he's human yeah. but at the at the very core of it it's like i still got to stick with my principles exactly. because obviously my yeah. son's with he's me doing it for the mortgage right and even <laughs> yeah. and like him handing a bunch of money to him too he would like probably feel good about that deep down being like at the end of the day it's like that guy got his money that he deserved, right. you know, right. like, even though it isn't a shitty way of doing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, like it's, he can still justify it somehow. You know? Right. You got to stick to your principles. Exactly. <laughs> Sam Elliott, though. I don't know yeah, why every, man. in every show he's on, I'm just, he's so cool. Yeah, he's got, he's got the vibe. Yeah. Like, I want that to be my vibe when I'm old. Yeah. <laughs> I think you have to start smoking a lot of cigarettes. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. And get a huge mustache. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You got to start working on that now. And that, like, super... What what is it? Southern Drawl or something? Yeah. I don't know. Deep like, Southern like, Boys. Deep. <laughs> there was a bunch of good people in this cast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just kept popping up. I thought. 
uh, like Rob Lowe, Rob all Lowe. the conversations <laughs> out there, like them together. It's like intimately honest conversations. Mm-hmm. And that's like you're like latching on to like these private room conversations right. yeah. that are probably real. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like people have definitely have those kinds of kinds of talks, you know. What did, what did he deals. say? When do you sleep? And Rob Lowe said, what, Sunday? Sundays? Sundays. Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> and his uh, assistant, uh, Adam, Brody, Adam Brody, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> he's like just perfect in that role. Oh like. God. Just flexing on all the shit in the building <laughs> and like s- subtly talking shit about everyone though mm-hmm. too. Like, uh, Want something just... to drink? Water, coffee, Red Bull? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, uh, Roshi. That sand's not going to rake itself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, man, like, good. Didn't he like call Nick and was like, oh yeah, it's not going to happen. But he's like, we should get coffee yeah, sometime. Yeah, right? But we <laughs> should <laughs> hang <Yes>. out. <laughs> Yeah, it's super, super smart, super quick. I yep. mean, mm-hmm. the dialogue, all of it was quick, and it, it felt good. Like, you didn't feel like you were missing anything either, just mm-hmm. with the how, how fast-paced it was. Right. You know, it just, I don't know, you were along for the journey. It was a great journey, and it was told and paced perfectly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know? good style throughout, yeah. too. Like, yeah. uh, one thing that just made me laugh was, like, the sex scene, the style of how that was done. <laughs> Yeah. The first time where it's just like slow, like jazz, yeah. and just like slow, like dollying, like just catching it. Like. I was like, and they're like not even it. moving. Yeah. They're like barely doing anything, oh. just peeking in on them. Yeah. yeah. It actually made me think of like the influence of movies for like in that mm-hmm. scene with um, Rob Lowe, where mm-hmm. he's talking about let's do like space sex or something yeah. with smoking oh thank god we invented the you know hand right it yeah because <laughs> i was listening to our um the one where we talked about chinatown yeah and then i think one of you said smoking school and yeah. i just remembered just like what he was saying like yeah, let's just put in a movie and it's gonna yeah, you know, yeah. brad like, pitt's holding the cigarette yeah. and people are gonna think it's cool right after yeah. sex they light up a cig right. in space <laughs> he's gonna want to he's gonna have to blow smoke rings though right. <laughs> that's a deal yeah for uh, 25 million I right mean. i don't know how you could like for me this one's hard to judge one i've seen it so many times mm-hmm. yeah but it's such a good take and unique take that it'd be hard to like judge this as like it's in like a movie structure i mean i'm sure you could but i just like find this to be a, a, such a unique movie that i almost like let it be what it is if yeah that's, if that makes sense but. yeah mm-hmm. yeah i thought it was gonna be kind of like preachy like yeah. you know because smoking whatever mm-hmm. but it was so easy to watch and I, I would watch it again over and over. It was just mm-hmm. so good. And then, like, with the whole, you know, smoking, and he's eating and he's looking at the cheese, I'm like, oh, shit, this is going to be the winner right here because, <laughs> you know, he's going right. to go and talk about how cheese is, you know, cardiac yeah. arrest mm-hmm. and all that bullshit. So yeah. I thought that was a cool little, like, yeah, you're going you're gonna to put a giant poison sign on, you know, <laughs> pretty much everything. Everything. Yeah. Right? So I thought, I thought that was really cool because it's just like, yeah, I mean, it's true. I mean, we're poisoning ourselves with fucking everything nowadays. Exactly. Why is everyone so fixated on you know yeah. trying to fix this you're here for a one. good time not for a long time yeah, you exactly. know? <laughs> right. yeah i thought it was uh fun just as like a movie concept to mm-hmm. have a senator as like the the hero of the movie in real world is like a villain yeah but mm-hmm. in the villain of this movie is like a senator who right. you would think is like a good guy i guess right. technically but just the way that it's framed is like you hate william h macy yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know <laughs> no, that's just like such a unique villain take mm-hmm. and that, yeah. that was kind of cool it was. Yeah. I, I really enjoyed it. I uh, I figured I was going to because, I mean, I liked, you know, all these other movies mm-hmm. that he's done. Yeah. And uh, so I went in expecting a lot, but I I, I got more than what I expected. Yeah. So nice. I, I was flopping between um, four and a half and four. Mm-hmm. I think I landed last on four is what I what nice. I landed on. So I really enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. I mean, bottom line for me, movies is like down to the writing and the dialogue. Like when mm-hmm. I write personally. Mm-hmm. I mean, you probably noticed this recently. I I write a lot of dialogue. Yeah. And I, I say a lot. So, I mean, yeah. I don't know. That's just my, my, my kind of movie. Yeah. My yeah. kind of if it's all bullshit clicking. dialogue. Yeah. But I really like it. Sometimes dialogue, like, makes and or breaks a movie oh, yeah. for oh, me, yeah. too. Yeah. So, yeah, I totally get it. Yeah. I really, really enjoyed it. Good mm-hmm. good me pick too. there. Glad I picked it. Yeah. I gave it, I mean, I've seen it a bunch of times. It's four and a half for me. Yeah. Like I said, it's just a, such a unique take, and it just hits all hits all my chords, you know? Yeah. So. yeah. It's good for me. Yeah. I put four, yeah. too. Good Just movie. enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. Cool. It was very good. Very good. All right. Let's slowly, <laughs> steadily decline. Yep. It's with the host. Let's the ease host. in. You was know. this your pick this week? This was my mm-hmm. pick. Uh, this has been on my list for a really long time. I was, like, really into Cloverfield when that movie came out. Mm-hmm. It was, like, 2007. So was this was, like, s- for some reason, this was, like, roped into it in my brain because they came out around the same time, and it's, like, a creature feature. Right. Yeah. Movie. Uh, so it's Bong Joon-ho. 
who is obviously famous for Parasite. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows him now. Um, written by him and some other guys. I don't want to butcher any of these guys' names. I, yeah, I, I that's what I was thinking. Of going like, into honestly, this. <laughs> so um, I did notice that King Ho Song mm-hmm. is the dad from Parasite. Right. So yeah. I mean, obviously, he's using some actors that he uh, worked with. I believe before. he's also in Snowpiercer. Is he? One, someone's <gasps> in Snowpiercer. The main Wait, guy. I think he is. I can't Piercer. remember who he is. Yes. Oh, yeah, he's the oh, dude yeah. that wakes up halfway yeah. through for yeah. sure. Oh my god, for sure. But damn. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, yeah, so this Dang. one was on my list for a long time. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it was fine. <laughs> Not really living up to what I thought it'd be. Mm-hmm. Um, I kind of knew I'd be in for some shoddy CGI stuff. Mm-hmm. Just, uh, I don't know, overwhelmingly meh. Yeah. I don't know, maybe that's just me. I enjoyed yeah. it. I enjoyed the movie. I had a good time. It did not need to be this long. I felt very Ugh, tedious to so get long. through after a while. <sighs> The creature obviously pretty bad, but yeah, over and over again, yeah. it was like I was dying and then <laughs> coming back to life, and it's like, is this over Still yet? Going, yeah. yeah. Nope. No, we're back in the hospital again. That's, ah, shit. Yeah. Oh, the, we're back on the hunting. Ah, shit. Yeah. yeah. The writing, it's like I could see the baby steps for Bong for Bong Joon Ho to like get to Parasite yeah. ten years later yeah. with this movie. Like, he's obviously got his, like, down-on-their-luck family dynamic type, which right. that's the, the highlight of the movie. Right. You know, like, all the human, um, like, relationship stuff, mm-hmm. he clearly can nail that stuff, you know, like, just because he probably can relate to all that kind of mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah. And then it gets into the plot stuff for this one, where it's like, get to the hospital, now we broke out, and we go fight, yeah. and now we're back, we get, we're chased again, we get back to the hospital, and then we go back out. That's they just are they don't know where to go. Yeah. It's like even. watching the end of Return of the King for two hours, you know. It's like, <laughs> is it gonna end? Nope. Okay. All right, we're going back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it, my mom uses this phrase, long in the tooth. And that's what this movie felt like to me. It was fucking long. It's only and, two hours. Right? And it felt so long. Yeah, the pacing was so It really did. Yeah. I don't know. I I thought that in terms of the writing, I thought it was in my opinion, a little sloppy because yeah. I feel like he was trying to obviously put in a whole bunch of different messages mm-hmm. into the story. And I felt like, you know, oh, it's a monster, but then it touched this guy. So it's a virus that yeah. I don't know that that whole storyline with the whole virus felt like, yeah. I, get you. I don't know, shit to me. <laughs> I, I wasn't interested in it. It felt like it was just kind of thrown in there as like a, yeah. oh, you know, here's another message for, you know. It, fa- it felt strangely relevant for us today. Right, yeah, obviously, right. just because yeah. we fucking are going through mm-hmm. what we're going through. But yeah. I, I know what you mean, how it's, plot adjacent mm-hmm. kind right. of it just felt unnecessary i mean yeah. make it a creature feature just make me a, a creature feature movie well right. see i had no expectations whatsoever because nice. i'm not a big fan of creature features okay <laughs> yeah but let me tell you in the moment i was like damn this is really good yeah i don't know why i enjoyed it a lot cool. i think i rated it four at one point damn. but then slowly after the movie i was thinking about it, i was like wait Mm. nothing really made sense to me because i had to look shit up yeah because i was like wait how did that creature like was it a fish that well i mean it's some weird they they poured the formaldehyde they poured 700 bottles of formaldehyde which is kind of based adjacently to like an actual thing that happened yeah yeah because there was a scene right like one of his arms got cut off and then it turns into was that just me was i just dreaming like it turns into a fish I don't remember this part. Maybe what? Just, maybe, maybe I'm just crazy. Out. Don't uh, just ignore me. Anyway, no, I mean I get it though. Yeah. Wait, was there a, was there a scene where he gets his arm cut off and like, it turns into a fish? Some part of him got cut off, and then it was a fish. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. Maybe the CGI was playing some monkey maybe. tricks I don't on know. me. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, there was a I couple times I did check that, out. Like, <laughs> toxic, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I the best part for me was when they were in that place where they were crying over that little girl and they all just started crying and like kicking each other and i was like i don't know why but this is it's that was like peak for me that's what the the human drama the human emotion in in all the scenes is like what elevated this movie Mm -hmm. because like that like there was like such just raw emotion in that scene that i was like holy fuck they don't hold back anything right and like i've never seen a film like be this shockingly in your face with its emotion kind of and that's like refreshing for me to see and then yeah like all the like i just wonder for bong jun ho like he films this movie with a tone and with a set standard in mind where it's like a grounded human drama with fun little bits of monster 
And then he gets into the editing room and he probably sees that like the monster's not up to what his standards are for the movie he just filmed. Mm -hmm. I just feel like that'd be a pretty hard disconnect to like bridge where it's like shitty CGI and shitty. It just like brings your stakes down immediately once you see like that, that bad of CGI, right. which makes your great emotional scene that you just filmed be brought down to mm -hmm. you. See, that's like hard to deal with for yeah. me. Kinda. I felt that that emotional scene was ruined by the the comic factor that he tried to put in there with all the people taking photos of him. You know, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I thought the comedy when he tried to put it in there didn't land for me. Yeah, I thought it did at times. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I just yeah. there was I think one scene that I actually kind of chuckled at, and I think that was when he was running away and he had the wrong girl. But then yeah. you know it's well that's supposed to be emotional, <laughs> right? <dude>. Right. <laughs> And I was like, ha he's got the wrong girl because he's a slob. And uh, then I realized, you know, the girl's getting taken. Legit, right. yeah. But then, okay, at the very end of the movie, this mm -hmm. whole point is getting this girl and she's dead. And so she is dead at the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm pretty sure. That just made me. Right? Yeah. But the little boy's alive. Right. Yeah. She saved the little boy. Mm -hmm. Well, because when, when he pulled them out, <laughs> he kind of just left the, the, the little dude there. Yeah. I was like, oh, he's dead. And it turns out the girl was dead. Yeah, he was dead. still fine. So I was, I was like, wait, what? But yeah. it just felt like throughout the entire thing, that's what I'm waiting for. And then after the first time they don't make it to her, I'm like, okay, well, she's dead. It's been too long. You know, she yeah. hasn't eaten anything. And then she's still alive. And the movie's still going on. Mm -hmm. And then you know, again, it happens again. And I'm like, okay, she's finally dead. Right. Nope, she's still alive. It's still going on. And then at the very end, when they finally get to the point to where they're like, oh, they're gonna rescue her, and then she's dead. I was yeah. kind of like, Whoops. what the hell, man? Yeah. You dragged me on this two-hour fucking endeavor, and then at the very end, you don't even give me what I want, mm -hmm. which is fine at times, but for this one, it did not pay off. I did mm -hmm. not like it. No, I get it. It yeah. rubbed me wrong. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I'll just turn it off for the whole movie. I don't know. That scene that you guys were talking about with the emotion, it's interesting mm -hmm. because that was the scene where I was kind of just like... Okay. Well, I'm done. I'm checked out. See, to me, I was like, man, this is not the movie I expected. I'm in for a better movie when that scene hit. Right. And then it and devolved to be like, oh, that's not. My expectations were lifted and then plunged. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was like a weird feeling because I wanted to give it more credit for like right. what it was trying and what it was right. succeeding in doing. But then it doesn't succeed throughout the rest of the movie. So it's like, oh, yeah. God. Like, mm -hmm. fuck, what, do I like you or not? Like, right. 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 Yeah. Like, there are moments where I was like tearing up like i yeah. didn't fully cry like one was when the dad died mm. that i was, was like pretty pretty good Damn. scene i thought yeah and then there was the scene where they i think they just escaped from the hospital and they went back to the Which store time? and the dad was like talking to them <laughs> to them and was like making excuses for for his son oh yeah it's yeah, like yeah, oh yeah. he just lacks protein and i don't know why that just made me like Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. you know. Well, that stuff like, hit. When, just like the silent moment when they're like eating their food. They mm. sit there for a minute and they just like, it's like, uh, like just simple filmmaking, good, good mm -hmm. like character moments. Although then and after that, the little girl shows up. Yeah, I was like, wait, I'm what? just like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> and I just, they don't, it's like, I mean, it's a metaphor yeah. for that wanting to be her, mm -hmm. wanting to be here. And I was like, okay, what the fuck? Like, I, I didn't know what was happening sometimes, yeah. like with yeah. the plot and with the action and it, like the character stuff. I just like. It's like, it, I don't know. The tone felt just off to me, like when the dad's talking to his siblings about him. They were both his siblings, right? One was a cousin. I thought uh, they were they're his all kids. siblings. Really? They're all siblings. Yeah. And just the little girl is his kid. No, I'm talking about the the old man, old old man. His three kids are the three people who are hunting the little girl, right? Right. Those are all three of his kids. Yes. Okay, yeah. Okay. When he's telling them about like making up excuses for mm -hmm. him, and they like are falling asleep the whole time, mm -hmm. and it's kind of just like. I don't know. I felt like this could have landed in a more emotional, but you kind of had to make it, mm -hmm. quote, funny by yeah. making them fall asleep because they really don't give a shit. And yeah, that made me you. not give a shit. So I was just kind of like, I don't know. That really bummed me out because I thought that moment when they're all eating together, I was like, oh, I, I, I like this part. I like this mm -hmm. scene. And then that happens. And it's kind of yeah. like, ah, oh, that, that comedy didn't land for me. I yeah. feel like for me, for that, that scene for me was kind of him talking to himself almost. Kind of, Because yeah. his son probably was feeling guilty that... He grabbed the wrong girl's arm. Right. And then he himself was probably guilty for, I guess, being a shitty dad to his son. <laughs> yeah. And he probably thought that he's like this because of him. Mm. So I think that one landed for me because of that. Mm. But I totally get why. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I guess I didn't look at it that way. And mm. I, I could see that now. But yeah. still. <laughs> That's I, yeah. I, I, I like understand both sides right. of what you just right. said. Because like in the moment for me in there is like I'm getting these nuggets mm -hmm. of good stuff. 
and then it's immediately undercut by like an, a thing that isn't landing well. Right. right. So it's like, God, I'm I'm latching onto yeah. what's good, but I'm also getting what's bad too. Right. So. Right. And it, for me, the bad overwhelmed the the good. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> Throughout the runtime, I will say, towards the end, I was like, man, I don't know if I really enjoyed this <laughs> no. movie. Yeah. I did. I, I see the value. Mm-hmm. Don't think I'd watch it again. Like you know, just like I don't yeah. need to really. Yeah. yeah. No, I agree. I agree completely. I mean, by the final final actual ending. You know, and it was actually happening, and it turned off, and, you know, I looked over at Sarah, and I was just kind of like, I don't think I understand, I think I'm too stupid to understand what I just watched. Like, is it trying to tell me something, or am I really yeah. too much into it? Mm-hmm. There's, it- there's a lot, because, like, when they're all throwing trash in the water, I was like, okay, clearly a metaphor for, like, poisoning the water, right. all yeah. this bad shit, like, and then it just, that's, it's just a monster, and, like, after that, it's just, like, a monster movie, and yeah. that's what it is, but, like... Yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't get exactly what it was trying to say either. Kind of. Yeah, end. it was just. I don't know if I was too stupid or whatever, but that's. I don't know. Like you said, I wasn't entertained at all. Like, yeah. it did accomplish, I guess, what it set out to do. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in yeah. its own fashion. So, in, in that respect, yeah, it did. It did its job. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll never probably watch it again. But Ooh. I felt a little cheated at the end too, where you know the little yeah. girl's fucking dead yeah. when. <laughs> Oh my god! Just takes another little boy, random guy. Right. Admit, you know, what, what, what I what I respect, which I don't understand that whole. Why did he take? Okay, the kid. Yeah, that was a little weird yeah. for me. Like this kid probably actually. No, I guess he was homeless. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but. <laughs> anyway, but I what I do respect about the movie is that they showed the creature like right away, right. instead yeah. of like, oh, he's in the shadows. Like what is it? Figure. Just it's a shame that it was you know. It's like Cloverfield. Bad CGI. Yeah, like yeah. Cloverfield. Yeah. 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 I just yeah I liked I like seeing what I'm what I'm up against mm-hmm. here when it comes to like creature movies alien movies I like to see what the enemy is what the aliens are because for one I think they look fucking cool like that's what I love about like District Nine yeah. you know you see the aliens yeah. you're with the aliens the whole time and they're fucking awesome you know and I I like that whole creation of those creatures yeah which is what I liked about this so there's that just bad CGI the design but, of the creature was pretty cool it was yeah, yeah. yeah. although the one thing that kind of got me was the weird like tail flipping yeah. yeah I was like I mean clearly this is like a, they wanted to make a unique creature mm-hmm. like attribute but I was like why would, evolutionarily why would he be flipping like this yeah. right. like wouldn't he just <laughs> With, be crawling or? are you talking about like he's like swinging yeah he's like just swinging on his oh, tail yeah. Yeah. It, it like works because it's like maybe this is how he gets around but. That's that was one of the things I was reading that when he was making the creature he wanted that because he's going to be underneath all those bridges so he wanted it to be like have swinging. a tail to where it can like you know make those movements oh. and, like swing from mm. each you know uh, yeah pull pull I guess. trust yeah, yeah trust i was trying to think of some, some sort of support yeah, yeah, word yeah without sounding you know it's basic like i get the thought for like bong to do that be like yeah. we want a unique it's got to feel different it's got to right. feel weird not you unnatural but then it like just comes across kind of silly yeah, yeah. especially if the cgi of it is bad you know, like, which is a bummer that now you know our where we're at nowadays with cgi that we look back on bad cgi and we're just kind of mm-hmm. like this is bad, and that kind of devalues the movie right. when it shouldn't. Yeah. When it's for me, that was the highlight of the movie. So if that tells you what I actually thought about the rest of it, I guess yeah. you know take what you want from that. But that that was the highlight of the movie for me was the creature. I thought mm-hmm. it was unique enough to where it was kept my interest of like its anatomy, what it did, the things it did. Yeah, right. I, uh, CGI obviously was bad. When but, it puked yeah. up all the skeletons and shit, I was like, oh my yeah. god, yeah, yeah, did not yeah. like that part. <laughs> my my favorite scene actually was when he grabbed the girl by its tail and it dove into the water and it was kind of slow mo, mm-hmm. jumping yeah. into the water. I don't know that I that for some whole, reason that scene got me going and I was like, oh, oh this could be cool. That's like kind of what I appreciate about watching foreign films too is like the the tone and pacing of their movies are just not akin to what I know. Mm-hmm. Right. So like in that sequence where it's like taking her away. And then it just like across the river, it just like eats her. And yeah. I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, that's such a fucked up way to like watch your daughter die. Or whatever. Right. And like, it's, it's like just not emphasized in the way that my culture of movies would emphasize mm-hmm. it. And yeah. like, that's re- that's refreshing to me to yeah. see like that style. Though. Yeah. I, I, I will say I don't watch uh, enough foreign films mm-hmm. either. I mean, yeah, I, need, I need to just because I need to branch out more, you know. Me too. <laughs> but, me too. you know, I I've seen all of... I don't know if it's all of his stuff, but like Snowpiercer. I don't yeah. know if that's yeah, considered too. foreign. I've mm-hmm. seen Parasite uh, and this one now. And then I don't know if he's done anything else that I've seen. But, mm-hmm. you know, Okja? he definitely. No, I have not seen that one. Mm-hmm. It's on my list, though. But I, mm-hmm. I yeah, 
I need to branch out more, but uh, yeah. the tone is definitely different, and I right. think the pace just really didn't land for me. Even even yeah. even if I have watched more, I don't know. <laughs> it just rubbed me the wrong way. I but get you. Unfortunate, because I actually kind of wanted to like it. Because yeah. yeah, yeah, I went in with thought I'd get more out of it than I did. But, yeah, you know, sometimes that's what happens. I gave I'm it. Glad you liked it. Though. I know. I was gonna say, just going with nothing. <laughs> <laughs> right? Maybe you like no it. No idea. <laughs> Yeah, I really did enjoy watching it. I yes. don't know why. Some some t- some things you just can't explain. Yeah. But it hit the right spots for me enough mm-hmm. that the bad parts were kind of just, just like, like they're bad, but like you know you let it go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So and I, I do that with again. every Marvel movie. You know, so I should be able to do it with <laughs> yeah. this right. kind of movie. Right. You know? Yeah. You really. You really spoke to me when you said that two and a half star quote there yeah you know? that's what it, it, it accomplished it its job so i gave it two and a half yeah. because i didn't want to disrespect it yeah right but at the same time i didn't like it and i'll never watch it again mm-hmm. fair but, enough i gave it three mostly because i just feel like bong jun ho went into this movie with an idea to make a better movie mm-hmm. and he almost got there and then like towards the end he realized that it wasn't going to live up and like it, it did enough of it so i gave it three yeah. to just slightly elevate it past yeah not. Mm-hmm. doing its job so. right yeah i gave it a three and a half from four you know <laughs> but i don't know i think my main problem maybe it's just me but i wish i knew more about the monster yeah. mm-hmm. it's kind of like creature from the black lagoon because you're like okay why what the fuck is yeah. he like what's, what's his goal? problem yeah, yeah. right <laughs> and like and i just i wish i knew more about the monster and just understood why right he was like terrorizing he hungry He's yeah. hungry. Yeah, I get. You know, you know, you do stuff when. But you're the hungry. thing is, why yeah, did he I not guess. eat He's the hungry. girl? Well, to me, I was yeah. like, he was clearly ate a hundred other people before this, right. and then he's full. So he just got a bunch of other food and chilled it down, like let it chill. Yeah. And then he popped like, it in the fridge. Yeah, he like put it in a little cooler <laughs> down below, and then he like Getting puked, his stash. Up, yeah. puked it all up when he was ready, and he's like, now nah, I'm ready to yeah. eat okay. again. I guess that. Yeah. No, that's just I, 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 I'll take it. I'll take it. I talked to the creature. That's what he said. Yeah, okay. so. All right. That's fair. Yeah. If it's from him, you know, I'll believe yeah, it. It's yeah. from the source. Yeah. Uh, oh, and also when that, the, the, what's his name? The white dude, like he got like an infection or something. Was that just like. The army dude? Yes. Th- he got his arm cut off, right? Oh, that was the armless man, wasn't it? Wait. Is that what you're talking about? Because I, I thought I remembered that. He had that. the disease, yeah. the virus yeah, yeah, yeah. that yeah. just surfaced whenever it was convenient for the story. Right. 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 That was, I think, I forgot about that. I just remember. I don't know why. But, well, that, so is that whole thing a ruse then? That's what it felt like. It just felt like they just needed to put that in there to say something. Well, to, right. I guess to me, like, the whole reason for the virus storyline is to justify them being chased the whole movie. Because mm. they, like, left quarantine and then they could be infectious with this virus. Right. So if they didn't have that and they left quarantine or whatever, yeah. people would probably just not give a fuck. Yeah. I guess with the virus thing, it was a creature that nobody knew really anything about. So they were just covering their bases. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it was so overplayed to where it was kind of just like, okay... I don't really understand the point now of right. this virus. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know. Towards the end, you kind of forgot about it. Right. Yeah. Until they bring it, until he's back in the hospital mm-hmm. or insane mm-hmm. asylum at the fifth time. Yeah. And then like yeah. the yeah. fucked up doctor is saying that there aren't any viruses. Right. Yeah. And they're yeah. just like doing weird experiments. Is that some sort of commentary that I'm missing out on? I yeah. Don't know. And then Agent Yellow or something. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what? And they were like bleeding from their, their ears. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought they were going to die, but they didn't. Yeah. yeah. They're fine. But yeah. Hmm. Yeah. That's what I would like, because Parasite equally somewhat doesn't explain itself mm-hmm. yeah. and its intentions and motivations, and it people fucking I mean, that's like people ate that shit up. You know, I yeah. love that movie too, but too. this yeah. one, it's I can see Bong Joon Ho trying. It's like I said, baby steps. He's like trying to leave you on the, some of these like little things that he doesn't want to explain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but this one, if it's not a very good movie, you're gonna be like, oh, well, what the fuck, dude? You know yeah, what I mean? yeah. <clears throat> I guess so. Yeah. I mean, I I also. I mean, I liked Parasite better than this, obviously. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That one was obviously more pleasing to the eye. Mm-hmm. It was a beautiful movie. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, I, I think, obviously, there's, like, some commentary mm-hmm. for that one as well. But for me, I don't necessarily, mm-hmm. that isn't my cup of tea, those types of, I guess, movies. I don't know why. i just n- not a huge fan. But I liked that it also, as well as being a commentary, it was just a good, like, interesting story of mm-hmm you know compelling stakes right. that kept rising right and yeah. it was 
its own thing as well as that you know yeah mm-hmm. for sure so but that's what i think like what you're saying the host didn't really quite find its footing in yeah. terms of like what it really wanted to be right you know I so that. just give me a creature feature damn it right yeah but, um a little bit of disappointment yeah. i'm glad i watched it obviously with every movie that we pick right, right. I'm glad right. i watched it right. like, well <laughs> let's move on <laughs> to <laughs> every movie to the big one cats patricia this one. it was okay Okay, I'm not even going to defend myself because I didn't put it in the chest. With I, Matt. Did, I did put it in the chest. I figured I tossed a few grenades in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like Avatar The Last Airbender, DBZ Evolution, you know, some of these. The room, right? The room's in there. Yeah. yeah. I just kind of figured we'd get there in like a year or two. Yeah. <laughs> not like but so I, soon. I've been saying, guys, I God was going to pick it. a musical. Yeah, you're right. But, but this one. <laughs> hey. I'm doing you a favor. It's part of a two-step program. Okay. Step one is watch this, and then right. step two is everything else is yeah. better. All the other musicals. So you are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, so Cats was directed by Tom Hooper, mm-hmm. and it has all the greats in it, and I'm wondering why they said yes. First off, let me just read these to you real quick. <laughs> oh Judy Dench, yeah. Idris Elba, you know, Jennifer Houston, Ian McClellan, and then, you know, Wait, those... No, those- Jennifer Hudson. Never Hudson. Don't oh, disrespect her. Don't, no, I don't kidding. have my glasses on. My apologies. <laughs> it is Hudson. I read that wrong. I'm I'm a little fired up. My bad. You know those people alone. Why? Why did you sign Sir up for Ian this? McKellen? Yeah. Like he why? Have his knighthood okay. revoked. I did yeah. read though that Judy Dench was supposed to be in the yeah. original show. She but had like she an broke accident a foot or something. Yeah. Well, I'm glad Does she it? got around to it now. <laughs> yeah. Unlucky. Unlucky. So. <laughs> Maybe it was a sign back then to not do it. Right. right. And then she was like, fuck it, I'm going to do it. My Listen to the my sign. fine oh now. My God. I think it's good. The fucking... Somebody was telling you something, woman. Yeah. Don't do uh, it. I right. just... Quit introducing cats. I don't want to know any more yeah. characters because I don't want to hear another damn song. Well, that's the right. whole point of the show, though. There isn't... Like, there's Cat. no... What's the point of the show? To introduce different cats. But why? The, so you the can end learn goal about is them, one cat Alex. a year gets to get a new life. That's uh, is it. Is it a year or is it every day? Because I thought it was this all happened year. in one, one year. Yeah, that's one what year, I'm saying. One cat ascends. I what think. the f- what the fuck is je- okay? One, <laughs> Jellicle is just a buzzword for something that they made up for cats. Right? Yeah, yeah like, they basically it, say it like 500 times. It makes no. It's Whoever not, originated this story was fucked up, dude. Like, I mean, 100. <laughs> percent Andrew Lloyd Webber when he wrote this show, there were some drugs involved. I just want to know which kinds yeah, of drugs. Yeah, right. It's either like cocaine. LSD or like a combination of both of those because yeah. like Jesus fuck like what, what's happening with the, the coolest part of the movie mm-hmm. I will say is the very beginning when she tosses the cat and it like it's this little cat looks like a little kid oh, and then yeah, she yeah, tosses yeah. it and it kind of expands because it's in the cat's world mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. so they become their own lifelike thing so that was a cool uh, trick of I guess the shot I don't know that was and after that it just whoo, I just down kept, I mean obviously it's super off putting Right, like, they float immediately. Mm. I was like, these guys look like monkeys. Yeah, yeah they They're have human cats. hands. They're not cats. Where's their right? assholes? <laughs> cats have assholes. Well, they don't have not that I'm asking for though, assholes, so. but you know, just give me something. Yeah, make PG it look 13, like a real cat. Alex. <laughs> You're right. You're right. No cat assholes. <laughs> uh, and maybe that's a weird request on my part, but like, <laughs> you know, if you're gonna make them look that weird, yeah, go just all go, the way. Go 100. percent Full commit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I kind of wish. That they stuck with the, like, you know, cheesy like the cat ears. Yeah, I feel stuff. like that would have made it better. Yeah. But I think the whole premise anyway was kind of just weird. I just don't understand the story. I like, mean, obviously the cats are trying to get a new, better life. But like, right. but what is the heavy year? side layer? Like, is that, is that heaven? I guess. I guess. But like, why do you want to go there? Right. Yeah, exactly. So at the end of this movie, they killed Jennifer Hudson by <laughs> sending her in a balloon journey. Yeah, basically. Straight up, just murdered her. Yep. Yeah. Just sent her off. And we're like, all right, have a better life. Right. We don't yeah. know where that goes. But, so it must be better. Oh <laughs> right. Gosh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just, I don't know. Try. I was trying to follow it and trying to follow what they were singing and mm-hmm. what yeah. they were trying to tell me. And I just, I couldn't. It's, it's yeah. bad. I mean, it's hard. They straight up like you can't just say words and make it good. It's not good music if you right. just say shit. Yep. You know, like there and there's one song where they're literally just making up fucking. It's like do 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 do. It's like what? The, like there's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing. no substance here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they're just like naming Jellical cats and right. Jellical fucking and Jellical mm-hmm. like. Here's this character. Let's sing about it. Who's this yeah. character? It's basically it. Britain Scott talent. Yeah. Is what I thought because they're all like auditioning, I guess, or whatever. And 
to speaking, get on to the to get to the show to get to yeah. the yeah. Speaking of here. Britain's Got Talent here, mm-hmm. did Taylor Swift try to throw in an accent? Yes, yeah, she Was did. She? Okay, I will not allow any Taylor Swift slander. Sorry, no, I'm kidding. Well, she but. needs to not do that. <laughs> <laughs> Just sing. I was like, what? That's fine. Yeah. You don't have to like sing with an accent? I, I know. I thought that was weird. Also, Jason Drulo, is he British? No. Nope. Because he also tried to have an accent. Yeah, he did. Uh, also, I was a little disappointed with his package size. I don't know. You, you really okay. hyped it up. I kind of missed think... it. Yeah. <laughs> there was nothing there. I think they like re-edited oh, it did they? or something because i know the what first the, hell? the first one they put out judy dench you can still see her wedding ring uh, on her but like i'm like why are still. you wearing her wedding? But yeah. anyway well here's another question i have is judy dench was wearing a cat fur coat right, right. who'd she kill to get that that's coat? like right. the, am i supposed <laughs> oh my God, to she was. think about then that there she murdered a cat and is wearing her fur <laughs> like that th- it's just hard to like get behind anything in this movie because mm-hmm. like it's they try to like scale the actors to be like their cats, right? But yeah. the scale's all wonky and fucked yeah, up. Yeah, like, and they look weird because they're not fucking yeah. cats. Like and their movements were so like they were on ropes when they were jumping from location to location, and yeah. it was just kind of like they didn't land with any grace. They kind of glided, mm-hmm. right? You know, and then they were like, okay, now we're on the ground. So it's it's I don't know the editing. I don't know what happened there, mm. but mm-hmm. it was dog. It's like watching the old santa claus you know with tim allen and you see him coming out of the, the chimney and you can yeah. see the wires mm-hmm. it's, you, you couldn't see the wires in this one but you could see the wires if you know what i'm saying like, no, you yeah. can just tell totally. that they're like well it's all it's a, unnatural it's a musical production like it they that's why like this, this movie achieved what it tried to do i guess because like they took cats the musical and put it onto a movie like yeah and so like all my gripes i guess well one don't do this movie that, right that's just a bad <laughs> idea but then like the problem lies in the musical of cats because mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. it just is so core. bad. Yeah. Like yeah. all the CGI and stuff, it's actually not as bad as I thought it'd be. Some of the stuff, so there, then there are moments when their heads are all floaty mm-hmm. and they're, right. they're like disconnected from their bodies and you're mm-hmm. like, what the fuck? Okay. Yeah. But like technically, it's like, it's fine. Like they are doing fur and stuff that you've never seen this right. well done. Right. But they just put, I just imagine all the CGI artists and all these people like putting time and effort into this movie where it's like such a like diversion of resources that should not have been done in the first place. Mm-hmm. Like that's what gets me about it. Yeah. Kinda. I could be getting my times wrong, but it, when they were doing the trailer, they were given like, what was it? Like six months to yeah, just pump out the trailer. To, yeah. And mm-hmm. then they had two months to edit the entire I think four? film. Jesus was it four months? Christ. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought that was fascinating. And it was completed hours before yeah. it premiered. Right before. Mm. Which, didn't they pull it and just re-edited it too afterwards? Something like that, yeah. Because then they've missed some stuff. Right, Right, yeah. It's just, I don't know. I I don't know, like, musicals are my thing. I love musicals. Mm. And the only song that really stood out for me was Memory. I feel like that's everybody's biggest hit. Exactly, which is... Who sung that? Jennifer Jennifer Hudson. Hudson. And I didn't even um, know that that song came from this oh, really? musical. But uh, they have like oh, the one line. Oh, is that the only line. song I knew and I actually sing along Memory, with? Memory. Oh, yeah. That's the only line I know. Yeah. Okay. And like my ears like perked up when I heard that because I was like, oh, something. Un-. But then it immediately just de- went fucking yeah. back to like nothing I knew. So mm-hmm. like, <laughs> I think the best performance singing wise was Ian McClellan. Personally, yeah. that was my favorite. That was a good uh, musical number. Yeah. I guess. Old Gus or whatever. Yeah. 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 Uh, what was my favorite? It wasn't Rum Tongue Tugger. I eventually I just started writing down their names. Yeah. Like old Mr. Tugger, huh? <laughs> no, a little questionable. What was my favorite one? The one that was tap dancing. Oh. Skimple Shanks. Something like Skimple, that. Skimple. Yeah. With, with that guy, that was like my favorite musical number. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it just like was actually a logic, like it was a cohesive number enough mm-hmm. to make me like latch on to it. But. Like every, everything else was just free flowy, and sometimes they're just saying shit that doesn't rhyme. Yeah, just I'm just like, what the fuck are we doing? I hate Don't put it into a song. Wilson's number, dude. I yeah. was like appalled. God, disgusting. It was. Yeah, it was vulgar for so, so vulgar. Like, oh, she was just God. spreading her legs, scratching yeah. her inner thighs. I'm like, don't go to the and crotch. Like, don't do don't. it. You don't have an asshole. You don't have a crotch. Just scratch either. And she's just munching cockroaches yeah. that have faces and shit. And like, it was strange. It was just so strange. I know. I had a cat for a lot of years, and I never saw it eat a cockroach. No. Mm. But then there's mice in the corner that they just let chill and right. sing right. and shit. Like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like Love the whole it. time I was watching it, I was like, I hope the guys don't hate me. Right now. <laughs> no, I mean, obviously, it's been on my, 
you, you got to watch it eventually. Everyone right. knows right. about it. We, I mean, we're obviously beating a dead horse. It's a bad mm-hmm. movie. Yeah. Everyone knows it. But I don't think it's as bad as I thought it was going to be. Mm. Um, when you have such low expectations. It's true. It's true. Right. I thought the CGI was going to be more laughable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, there was parts where it was, like I said, questionable, where they're kind of just gliding and it didn't really, yeah. I don't know, feel... Like it flowed nicely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There was some scenes like that, but bottom line, like Judy Dench's coat, that looked pretty good. Yeah. Well, that yeah, all the CG, like most of it's actually like pretty good. Yeah. Like it's, it's, it, it it was pretty good, but then the core problem was <laughs> the fucking story because yep. what the hell? Yeah. I couldn't follow it. Mm-hmm. And the main girl doesn't even say anything. No, Dude, like, yeah. she just walks all around. She had the same expression the whole movie. Yeah, just a wonder in her eyes. Yeah. Like, what a, what a I thought pass. it was Ariana Grande. Yeah, really. But it's, it's it wasn't just some, like, so. Ballet dancer, I'm yeah. pretty sure. That too, the ballet. I don't know why it just weirded me out. Yeah. Just seeing cats, cats. <laughs> cats do ballet. That's a, like the CGI is good, but you don't want to look at it. Yeah, like yeah. it just doesn't. Like it's something isn't registering in your brain mm-hmm. correctly. And it's it's interesting because Sarah, she loves musicals too. You mm-hmm. know, her favorite movies are Grease, Mamma Mia, Greatest Showman, mm-hmm. shit like that. Mm-hmm. And then. She didn't even want to watch this one after we started it. She was like, this is bad. I don't even like the music. It's, it's like, wow. Yeah, like like halfway through, three quarters of the way through, it becomes like an actual chore to watch it. Mm-hmm. For me, it did at least. Yeah. Like, I was did. like happily like shitting on it for the first hour. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, oh my God, like I, I'm done. <laughs> like I end. get it. Like, right, yeah. 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 Usually the first number in a musical for me is when I know... I'm yeah. like either gonna like it or not. Yeah, I felt like it never ended. Dude, that first song it, like, is kept terrible. Going. Yeah, it, that's the one where they just say Jellicle shit. Yeah, time, isn't it? like and it just goes. Yeah, it's like ten minutes long. It's like yeah. eight minutes long. Like it's bad. Yeah, and yeah. this dude just sang the whole movie, but I didn't know who he was. Right, the one, the main dude cat or whatever. Is yeah, that yeah. What, whatever his name is, carried the movie. I guess. Yeah, for he just me. like leads them around. Mm-hmm. But rough. And what what was up with McCavity's teleportation ability? Like Good what, question. Just out of left like, field. That out of left field, and it doesn't even, never explained. Like, Meow, what the fuck, man. At <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that part, I was like, yes, there are, is coming. There are a few people or times in this movie where the actors, you can tell that they just know what movie they're in, kind of. Yeah. Only a couple times, I, you, I glimpsed it. Idris Elba a, a few times when he's doing his cat shit and I was like he knows he's in a terribly yeah. a cat movie you know what I'm saying yeah. like right. and then Ian McKellen I thought he did a pretty good job in this mm-hmm. movie he did because he's he, like when he walks through the door and just like rubs on the doorway mm-hmm. <laughs> <And> <laughs> he, he's like eating up the scenery like he's, right. he knows a movie he's in too he's yeah. just fucking around mm-hmm. but everyone else around it it's all very serious it's all very like it feels like they're trying to do justice to the musical, right? right. Which they are. It's like, like they're trying to think like, "Oh, I'm in something important," but really, yeah. you're not. Yeah. Honestly, that's. I was like wondering, like, Ugh. this came out in the '80s, I think, the musical. Yeah. And it, I honestly just like feels like an excuse to have like homoerotic fucking people in fur dance on the stage together. Mm-hmm. Like, there's no other reason yeah, than just so like weird. selfish, weird, lustful desire. There's almost, a, like a certain type of people that will eat this up. You know, I wrong. became one of these after the movie. Yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Once T Swift came down with the catnip, I was hooked too, man. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. I think she was the best part of, in the movie. Really? Really? Yeah. Not Ian McClellan? Well, him he too. But he like, slept. She I am a so... Taylor Swift stan. Okay. So I'm biased, of course. She but... came so late that I was like, oh, I forgot she was in this yeah. movie. You know, but... I was waiting for. It. I was like, Taylor Swift, <laughs> <laughs> is it? Is it time? Yeah. But yeah. Bummer. <sighs> yeah. uh, I guess I can't say a bummer. I knew it was going to be a bummer. But at the same time, I mean, it's a movie. Mm-hmm. Bottom I had, line. I had to gotta see it. get a free trial for Cinemax to watch this movie. <laughs> hey. Which makes me think that this is like the strategy for this type of movie mm-hmm. to be released is like, I guess if you have Cinemax, sure. But not, not a lot of people do, I feel like. Yeah. And it's like the only way you're going to be able to watch this, you can't rent it. No, fuck no. You got to get a service. You got to fucking do the, like. Right. It, they just know that no one actually wants to watch this movie, except for if you're seeking it out to see how bad it is. It's yourself. funny, too. The renting is like, like typically the movies we've been watching are like three ninety nine or whatever mm-hmm. on Prime. And then this one was like seven ninety nine. You can either rent rent, you can either get Cinemax or you can buy it for like eight bucks. Yeah. I was like, oh, I wonder how great this movie. Like, <laughs> they just don't want to show you it. Dude, I've been watching all our movies for free. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I watched this one with a friend. I forgot my laptop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so we had. I had to buy it. So I Oof. own cats. You own hey, it now. I own nice. cats. I just like couldn't do it, dude. I was yeah. like, this oh, is not. Yeah, I was. 
if I, I'm glad because I, I bum obviously Cinemax for my mom. Mm-hmm. She has all the channels on Prime. And uh, I'm just glad I didn't have to pay for it because I was yeah. I pushed it off for so long because I knew I was going to have to pay for it. But then when it showed up and I typed it in on Prime, I'm like, hey, oh, don't want to pay for this shit. <laughs> Lucky motherfucker. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, God. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking, too, I would have been in real trouble if I didn't have the subtitles on this mm, whole movie. Yeah. Because mm. I could un- I could I could track like 25 percent of what was happening yeah. with the mm-hmm. subtitles on. But if I didn't have those on, I feel like I wouldn't even understand what they're saying half the time. It was kind of. Yeah. You, you did it. Yeah. yeah. I, I just. I, I felt like I would be missing everything. There was yeah. times at like I'll be halfway into a song and I would be like, "Well, I wasn't listening for the last thirty seconds." Yeah. Yep. Like, what were they talking about? Yeah. Zone out and right. you're like, "Oh wait, yeah, yeah, mm. yeah." I don't know. Kind of like I I had small expectations, but I also didn't really like what Tom Hooper did with Les Mis. So I kind of knew yeah. it might be not up my alley yeah yep. i'm wondering if i just don't really like i've seen the danish girl have you seen king's speech Cause no, no i haven't I, seen that, that one, one i like a lot yeah, that one's really, really good that one got the oscar right? yeah. yeah but i feel like it was so different from how he did that and lay miz and yeah. cats and i'm like okay. i didn't even know he did the king's speech that's how different it was yeah huh. yeah i was just like are you okay yeah like <laughs> what happened like can I, you help <laughs> i feel like he was still kind of viewed as like a prestigious director mm-hmm. and but now the more I watch of his stuff, like he, he made this movie. Right. So like he right. either knows it was gonna be bad or he like tried his hardest. But yeah. The thing is to too, make it a terrible movie. With this movie is it was like I'm pretty sure it was slated to be like slated to be like a uh, completely animated. But he was like, okay. No, I wanna put these guys in green suits mm-hmm. and make them be cats. Well, well that's what I was thinking kinda of like that was his through. choice. He made that conscious right. decision to do that. From the get from pre production, you are your movie is not in the right direction already. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. that's just you, you fucked it up at the get go. Right. It was like halfway through, I was like, this should have just been animated. It like should have been. if you have a cat figure doing these songs, I'll believe it ten times right. more. You know, yeah. just like just straight up. But you put it. a human in this bodysuit that's not even really a cat. I don't know what right. the fuck it was. Exactly. It was not anatomically and I can't say the word an anatomically, anatomically <laughs> co- correct. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I don't know. and it's not like they didn't have the budget for that, right. you know? It's insane. Yeah. Like, I, and I also read that Andrew Lloyd Webber actually did not like it. Uh, and he said something like, if Tom actually, like, involved people who did the original show. How would it have been better? I was going to say, uh, honestly. Yeah. Like, what are they going to He's do? reaching there. Yeah. I don't know. But I'm just, like, Phantom is so good. Right. And I'm just. Why? <laughs> and the music is actually good in that too, or yeah. what? Like I, yeah. it is, yeah. Because mm-hmm. that's to me the entire premise of the show is like Andrew Lloyd Webber at twelve o'clock at night, high on fucking coke or something, being like, I thought about cats now, and I'm not fucking <laughs> right. right. Everything I think about, and fucking, what happens? I'm thinking cats. What happens when cats die? They have nine lives. Right. Wait a minute, oh, we can shit, work yeah. with this. What if one of their lives, one of their nine lives, you know, they get to be reborn to something new? Write it down. God. Why did everyone hate Jennifer Hudson's character too? I didn't really understand. Yeah. Why she cast out like that? Like I know she was with McCavity or something, oh, but that, that they didn't really explain how in right. what capacity or they didn't explain mm-hmm. anything. Yeah, mm-hmm. like all I know fair. is she was she used to be glamorous. Yeah, not anymore. And now she's just you know <laughs> her. I guess I don't know. Yeah. Couldn't take the time to to flesh that out. You know, yeah. they're too busy. Mm-hmm. But when she sang stuff. Memory, though, I was like, Jennifer, I'm going to give you a hug. <laughs> but why are well, you in this movie? <laughs> dude, she was going, she was swinging for the fences. Right? Man. Like, <laughs> I, like, she was, she had all the tears, mm-hmm. all the emotion. It's like she fucking was ready to just break it all down. And it's like, like good job. But like, fuck, like it doesn't yeah, match like up with the cat. movie you're in. <laughs> like, yeah. what's wrong? Look at yourself. Like, wow. Oh, my God. Yeah. One star for me. Yeah. Monster. I gave it one and a half. Um, wow. I don't even know. It's like really hard to do a half a star for me. Yeah. It's like mostly just like the shitty American Pie movies that aren't real movies, mm-hmm. you know, kind of thing. Yeah. But uh, movie forty three. Movie. Yeah. There's like some. There's some. Lo- I think I did Lion King like half a star. The the new one. I oh, I was like. It. No, no. no, no. <laughs> okay. The thought... original, great. But yeah. like The yeah. last one, I never have felt such a soulless watch through. Yeah. That yeah, I just had to had to make a stance. Can, on it, Candyman but. was a half star for me. Oh really? Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I give one half. The movie 
achieved what it tried to do. Did it? It's just it? a terrible concept. What was it trying to do, though? It, it was trying to put Cats the musical onto the, the screen, okay. and it did that. So it achieved the fact that it was a movie in, yeah. in terms of like it was filmed. Yeah. But the story wasn't. The story is exactly what I assume <laughs> the story in the music yeah. is. You know, that's why I'm giving it the credit because right. it's it's not trying to reinvent it to make it better. It's just we're like verbatim putting it on mm-hmm. terribly. Like, so, so it's like, oh, here's a turd. Let's kick it down the road a little. <laughs> yeah. It's still a turd, but hey, yeah. fuck it. Let's make some money off it's of it. It's farther yeah. down the road. Right. So okay. it's a little better in my, mm-hmm. you know. Like. Okay. Okay. I wrote no star and then wow. dot, 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 one half maybe. But <laughs> now I feel bad because, you know, those poor CGI people are yeah. like uh, work tirelessly. Yeah. I, I would they chose to do be it. so yeah. depressed right? to okay. go into work every day to do work on this movie. Yeah. Like just... And apparently Tom Hooper wasn't nice to them either. No, they like slept in the office and stuff. Yeah, and like he would and... send them like, hey, like really mean emails. Yeah. <laughs> You're ruining my movie. I was like, damn. I think you ruined it by uh, starting, buddy. Brother. God, yeah, Tom buddy. Hooper, man, I cannot. Well, at least this one's out of the way. It's true. You are it's welcome, it's you guys. We did it, yeah. guys. <laughs> Thanks, I think. Yeah. But hmm. have you seen Les Mis? I have. Okay, I, have I was going to say it's so much... It's a lot better than Cats, obviously. It is. Mm-hmm. It is. Um, the it material's doesn't probably really better. kick into gear for me until like maybe the halfway mark. Yeah. Whenever Sasha comes in, that's when it kind of <laughs> kicks up, and I'm just kind of like, okay. Yeah. But then it just drags its feet a little, I feel. Yeah. But, I mean, it's a musical. Right. Russell Crowe is out of place. What the fuck were you doing in there? Yeah. yeah. But, and the anyway. whole thing with me with hiring actors who can sing right. as opposed to people who sing who are uh, I can, okay anyway yeah we'll get to late i think yeah. it's in the chest isn't it it's in the, i think it's yeah, in the, yeah. yeah. okay <laughs> I, have, I have the book downloaded too but that's like a that's a long ass read that really yeah. beast i i've never been never seen any lay miz read than any lay miz never it's my friend's book. dad's favorite book so. really i and t- when i was on tumblr it was called the brick because it's so <laughs> yeah it's thick so and like just huge yeah i cannot <laughs> usually big books don't really like aren't daunting but for some reason this one's super daunting to me i feel like it's going to feel long you know yeah because like I, I just you know finished like a book like the stand and it's like that's a long book but it didn't feel long it's more like right. dramatic and compelling, right you know, mm-hmm. so i'm just scared because i know that it's, it was made into a musical so what's it going to be like as a book form yeah right yeah. <laughs> but hmm. a little off topic but yeah. anyway we'll give you another chance tom hooper i guess yeah the, maybe maybe yeah. we'll see <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> yeah. Thanks uh, for tuning in for this yeah. movie chest. Um, yeah. Like and subscribe if that's what you guys are into. Um, yeah. yeah. Stay tuned for our next one. Yeah. yeah. All right. Peace out. We did it, guys. Congratulations. If you or anyone else has watched Cats like we have, just talk to it about someone. Just talk. Just bring it up. Tell them that it's okay. Tell them that they're going to be okay and that we can get through this together with the magic of Mr. Mr. Stop. <laughs>